ER modeling versus dimensional modeling. Hello friends, today we learn the difference between the ER modeling and the dimensional modeling. ER modeling You have already seen the ER modeling while the designing relational databases. It is used to design the relational database. ER modeling it consists of entities and relationships. And usually we call this as OLTP, Online Transaction Processing. So for this kind of we processing, we follow the ER modeling, Entity Relationship Modeling. So when we move from databases to data, data warehouse, we should change the design from ER modeling to dimensional modeling. So as the name indicate dimension dimensional so this dimensional modeling focuses on dimensions so data warehouse is constructed around or designed around the dimensions and it is subject oriented it is focusing on analysis so online analytical processing is meant in case of data warehouse it stores the multi-dimensional model and so require the multi-dimensional data model the multi-dimensional data may we have three dimensions and more The dimensional modeling uses the schema, star schema, snowflake schema, and fact constellation schema. Let's see the diagrammatical representation of ER modeling. So here you can see the entity 1 and entity 2. These are connected by a central relationship. For example, you have entity student. The student entity is related to a class. So what will be the relationship between student and the class C? Belongs. So you can see the student is one entity, another entity is the class and belongs is the relationship. So this is how one entity is related to another entity through relationship and this we call entity relationship diagram. So before the actual design or before actual construction of the database, we should go for designing the ER diagram. Similarly, you can go for the dimensional modeling. So in this dimensional modeling, we have to design the schema so this kind of structure we can see or view it as a star like structure so this represents the star schema so the schema basically consists of dimensions and facts the relationship between the dimension and facts is we can model by using the dimension table and the fact table. So this diagram is a dimensional modeling which focuses on the dimensions and the facts. In the star schema, we have only one fact table. In the snowflake schema, we have only one fact table but 
the dimensions are extended to have the more detailed view and in the fact constellation schema we have two or more fact tables which shares the dimensions so you can see the diagram difference between the diagrams for er modeling and the dimensional modeling now we differentiate both of these the er modeling we abbreviated for convenience as erm and the dimensional modeling as dm er modeling is used for the oltp whereas dimensional modeling is used for olap in er modeling the data should be normalized and usually the data is in 3 and f 3 and f 3 normal form we have to first convert it into first normal form 1 nf then you have to convert it into 2 nf and then to the 3 nf for 3 nf what is the condition it should be it should be fully functional dependent and transitive relation or transitivity should not exist in erm the data should be in 3 nf whereas in dimensional modeling data is normalized sorry denormalized so it is not required to convert the data or to normalize the data another difference is er modeling data is a graphical representation of entities and relationships as we have seen in the diagram whereas in dimensional modeling data is organized around the dimensions and facts so we have the dimension tables and fact tables in the dimensional modeling the dimensional modeling usually used for ad hoc query analysis in er modeling it is used for reporting and the point queries the dimensional modeling uses highly select operation once the data warehouse is constructed once the data is built and loaded into the data warehouse only the very important operation perform is a select operation we are just extracting the meaningful or analysis meaningful data from the data warehouse or we are extracting the data to take the decisions so it is for managerial actions so the select operation is sufficient whereas in the er modeling it mostly focuses on create update delete and as well as read or select operations in dimensional modeling the select operation is used most of the times whereas in er modeling all read update delete create operations are frequently executed the er diagram represents the entire business or application process the er model have both the physical model as well as the logical model whereas in dimensional model we have only the physical model so this is how we have differentiated the er modeling and the dimensional modeling thank you